All right, 735. Good morning. We'll do our free money question of the day coming up. Bob Black, pharmacist from Randall's Pharmacy. We're going to talk to him. And also, uh, Tiny J. Power is coming up in a second. This this bill, what do we know about this bill in uh, in Georgia? Uh, that they, They're calling it religious liberty. However, others are calling it a uh, an anti-gay bill. Um, it involved a lot, but it involved some things, including uh, transgender. That I think that that issue scares some people. I think it does because uh, using bathrooms, right? I'll I'll just come out and say it. There's a fear that uh, I don't know if I want to use the word pervert, but but somebody who wants to gain access to a women's room for whatever reason, yeah. voyeuristic purposes, etc., could say. Uh, well, you know, I, um, I identify as a woman. I'd like to use the woman's yeah, room. Yeah. Now, there are legitimate, obviously, there are legitimate cases of transgender, etc. But I think the fear is that, uh, I'll use myself as an example. I can say, you know, I'm uh, planning to have a surgery, and right now I'm not there, but I'd still like to use the women's room. And who knows so, who I am or what my so intent the, is. But the, uh, so the other thing would be, and uh, couldn't somebody just do that anyway? Couldn't the pervert just be a pervert and dress up like a woman and walk into the? Well, I, I think that's true too. So what are the? So I think what what opponents of this Georgia law were saying is, what are the chances that somebody is going? I, mean, I guess it is. It's a chance that somebody's going to say, "I identify as a woman. You have to let me in." Right. But they could do the same thing anyway. They could just lie. A pervert could just lie to get in, or drill a hole through the wall. Okay, which we've seen, so. seen happen. Well, and, and so how in do that you, case, though, yeah. if you caught the person, right. they would face some type of, uh, I don't know if it's trespassing or what, what the charge right. is. But if this so is in this approved, case, they could just say, hey, listen, I'm I'm transgender. I'm protected identify, by the law here. Uh, right, All right. Okay. I think there's a big issue, too, though, with, you know, regardless of whether or not, I think a lot of places have unisex bathrooms. Right. And that kind of kills this argument. Those places are more prevalent in the Northeast. Sure. And not down south. So, yeah. but you know, you're telling basically a business that it's got to have a third bathroom, right? If right. this law doesn't go into effect. Yeah, Andrew. Well, yeah. I mean, I was going to say it's not all bathroom, by the way. Most right. of it no, is not. is to be able to to. I mean, that law would have allowed people to fire someone based on their sexual preference, and uh, at least that's what the the people on the other side were saying. And, you know, I, I, I guess I'm really torn on the bathroom thing. That that really is something that's hard well, to... Well, locker uh, room. Think uh, about a locker room. Even a room. locker room. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a good but, example. But how many times have you been in a locker room as a kid and there was someone in that locker room who was gay? You have been. You may not know it, but when you were in school, you were in a locker room and there's a good chance that somebody in your gym class somewhere through school was gay and they were in the locker room. But that doesn't bother me yeah. as much as being in a <clears throat> locker room with my daughter and then somebody who identifies as a woman but still has all of their male parts walks right. into the room and right. wants to change. That's yeah. different. Andrew. Well, also, too, it allows access for people, if you were to be a you know, a deviant or a pervert of some kind, to, to go in and you know, maybe set cameras or something like that, you know? Uh, okay. Yeah. But... Yeah. Uh, but Somebody could do that anyway. Yeah, well, I guess. True. I guess if if I'm a transgender, I, I don't have am I issue. really fighting over the bathroom? Is that a big a big issue? Of all the things that you want to fight for, are you fighting? Is the bathroom the one thing you want to fight for? Well, I think that's a good question. I kind of um, wonder. You know, of all the things, right? You don't want to be obviously. Uh, you know, if you're fired because and and how does I guess how does it affect if all of a sudden you know Bob is now a female. Uh, he identifies himself as a female, so now he, he maybe dresses up uh, like uh, like Bruce Jenner, and all of a sudden Bob is your receptionist. An employer is, uh, could an employer be put in a, in a difficult position? What if, you're, what if your patrons are conservative? Very, you know, a lot of older people, they come in, and what happened to Bob? He's in a wig, he's in a, I mean, uh, how, do, how do employers, this is really, this is a very sticky. The whole thing is just really tough to tough to grasp, right? And, and uh, well, and so I, if you're if you're the owner of that business, right? I mean, I, I guess I don't know what side I'm on in all of this. If you're the owner of that business, and Bob now becomes Norma, and uh, how do you how do you explain that to your customers? Are they or or do you have to? Hey, you're gonna have to live with it. 
And could you lose? What if you lose customers over something like that? Yeah, I would say if there becomes a point where it's a distraction or uh, something like that, then I would side with the employer, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, can I use you as, a, as an example? Sure. You're, yeah. you're, the, you're the morning show okay. host here, and if one day you walked in and now you're Barbie instead of but I, Bill. I, I probably won't happen, but uh, I, hey, I'd could. be willing to bet this is not going to it happen. It could happen. But, yeah. you know, now all of a sudden, what if that? What if the listeners are now uh, turned off by that? Pardon right, the, they don't listen to the phrase, anymore. but... Right. So, and then, and then they said, "Okay, we're going to go in a different direction." Yeah. Could you argue that they did it because you you are now no, transgender? No. Well, no. I think there's something else going on there. This is uh, in this particular example. This is a a ratings and entertainment game, and if people aren't yeah. into it anymore, I think the employer has the option to make a move. Although we might adversely, or not. Have you ever seen me as a woman? It's quite a sight. <laughs> <laughs> Would you not say though, in our industry, it's different? Right, it is I, different. I, uh, ratings yeah. might go up for me, you know. Maybe well, I'll try it. I don't know. If you were to uh, say, let up. me take Tiny J. Powers, who's uh, standing by from Fox News. Uh, the governor in Georgia yesterday vetoed the religious liberty bill uh, amid uh, a big boycott, not just Hollywood, but uh, but all over. And Tiny, it's interesting how some call it a religious liberty bill, and other media outlets are calling it an anti-gay bill. So, what is it? <laughs> that is interesting. You know, I hadn't even noticed that until yeah. you just brought that up. Yeah. It's that all over. It is uh, well, and it depends on the network. It depends on the news outlet. So, mm -hmm. um, so what? What? Uh, so the governor came out a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure over this. A lot of pressure. A uh, few things to note: Republican governor. This was passed by the Republicans, so you know he's he's got to be making friends left and right over there. And <laughs> this is also something that a lot of the businesses in Georgia. Uh, I mean, big businesses. I mean, think about it: Coca Cola, that's based in Atlanta. You got yeah. Home Depot, Delta. Um, just to name a few, though, along with the Hollywood entities, and, and if, if people aren't aware of it, there are a lot of things that are filmed in Georgia. Right. Uh, they call it the Hollywood of the South, and that's yeah. not really far from the truth. There are a ton of shows and movies that are, are that are shot there, so that's a pretty big part of their of their community and revenue. And Atlanta, very progressive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The moment you get out to Cobb County or any of the rural areas, it's Even a completely Savannah. different world. Even sure. Savannah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a different place that I mean, if people haven't if you haven't been to uh, to the Atlanta area or to to Georgia, you may not may not realize it. But yeah, it's it's a it's a very interesting um, story because now, like I said, the Republicans have passed this. Many of them say, you know, we're not done with it. Yeah. Uh, there's, a matter of fact, a news conference this morning that are that's being planned by groups that supported the bill, including the Georgia Baptist Mission Board. Um, needless to say, the uh, the folks like Delta and uh, Coca Cola and uh, the NFL they had even you know threatened to yeah, withhold yeah. the Super Bowl from Atlanta. They're up for that for well, a few I, years. I, we're kind of focusing on the bathroom aspect of this, but there's more to it than that, right? Um, the, as far as the yeah, because you've got the the bill had actually said that it would have you know allowed faith based organizations to deny services to people who violated their religious beliefs it also would have allowed employers to retain the right to fire employees that weren't aligned with those beliefs yeah um, and that's those that's the, the dangerous that, part of that yeah and governor nathan deal said mm -hmm. you know that he he thinks that they didn't have to discriminate against anybody to protect the faith based community the faith based community on the other hand is saying well you didn't do anything to to protect us at all right right so we've not heard the last of this. They also say if they can't override the veto, which I don't think they've got enough votes to do that, um, then they'll just bring it up again next year. No. And um, and the bathroom issue. I mean, I hate to say, but it's 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 an issue. I mean, in Bruce Jenner's world, what bathroom does Bruce Jenner use? He, you know, he now uses the ladies' room. Yeah, this is the, these. I mean, these are all getting a lot of uh, a lot of attention, yeah. and you know, these are these are things that you know, this is. This is kind of where we are. These are things that have to be, you know, I Figured guess, weighted into yeah. because that's where we're that's where we're headed. Yeah, it's interesting uh, because I said to somebody the other day, "Whatever happened, you know, years ago, this stuff didn't happen." And the answer to that is, well, years ago, uh, people they had to live in hiding and uh, they never did come out. That's right. It's not that it didn't happen; so we yeah. didn't hear about it. Right, right. All right, Tanya, we appreciate it. Tanya Powers mm -hmm. from Fox News. Uh, here's Christine with an update. Good morning, Christine. Believe. <laughs> 